uh, provide loans and grants to uh, governments, to international organizations, uh, and, and sometimes to NGOs. Uh, we support government strategies that are aimed uh, particularly in uh, rural development. We do believe very strongly that rural populations have the potential and that they are oftentimes marginalized by policies, by governments. And we do this through uh, providing, as I said, loans and grants to support rural uh, community development projects, most of it into agriculture and agricultural productivity. But going beyond uh, just supporting production, we also, do, we also provide them with financial services and we build their capacities to be able to run their own institutions, particularly to empower women in, in their communities, and we link them to markets. Now, you can imagine the impact of that, particularly in developing countries where smallholder farmers, where farmers are mostly women, and they do most of the work from planting to harvesting and to marketing transporting the, the produce to the, to, to, to the markets. It's important to recognize that investment in smallholder agriculture in rural communities is the most assured safety net for economic growth. It's important to, to note that agricultural productivity by itself is not sufficient to lift people out of poverty. They must have access to markets. And here we're referring to local markets, competitive markets, not necessarily into international markets. And we do this all in the framework of helping governments themselves to improve the livelihoods of rural populations. For, the, for a long time, um, agriculture was neglected. Uh, in fact, um, there was a decrease, a decline, a sharp decline in investment in agriculture, both by the international community and by national governments. So the biggest challenge was how do we reverse this process? Unfortunately, we, we needed a food crisis. We needed a food price crisis of 2007 and 2008, which was a wake-up call that the disinvestment in, agri in agriculture over the last 25 to 35 years was actually detrimental for food security. And this uh, has now culminated, as you know, in the G8 declaration, uh, the L'Aquila Food Security Initiative. The food security priorities of the Canadian government focuses on smallholder agriculture, focuses on women and youth, and which actually converges with what IFAD is doing. The Canadian government also is one of the strongest supporters of IFAD, and uh, Canada, in fact, uh, more than doubled its contribution to IFAD uh, it is, uh, for the eighth replenishment, which is 2010 to 2012. Our projection is in the next cycle, the replenishment cycle, with the increase in our resources, thanks to the Canadian government and other, other members who have been very generous to us, we'll be able to reach another 70 million people, rural people uh, across the world.